Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. It's Abby, and for this video, I wanted to share with you my traveler's notebook passport setup for short trips in particular. So, I've been toying with the idea of using the passport size for a while now because I really enjoy. Um, journaling in small formats to exercise my creativity. I'm super used to the regular size of Traveler's Notebook that I decided to give it a try this November to document my trips, short trips, in a passport size refill. So for today, I'm going to share with you my entire setup process. It's pretty simple, but I do want to share with you the particular inserts I'm going to be using, as well as how I design and decorate the pages, in case you're curious to see how everything sort of comes together before I gear up for my next trip. So make sure to keep watching to know more. I have uh, set aside some materials that I'll be needing because I want to keep everything in order. But before we get to the setup part, I do want to show you a quick tour of my passport journal um i did this sometime in september when i went home to the philippines so i wanted to document my trips and i found this it's actually not traveler's notebook but i just found a random insert at home and i decided to fill it up featuring my two weeks in manila so this actually inspired me to create a uh, passport size journals because i realized that it's so portable and it's just so easy to fill up the pages, so I actually also experimented on printing at our home printer. It wasn't really the best quality, but I did incorporate a lot of happy mails, notes. My friends were so sweet. They sent me so much gifts that have been lying in my room. I've been in my room for months now. I also ordered a couple of things online. So I decided to save everything as well as the socials and people I've met during um, those two weeks. I was really there mostly for work, so it wasn't really um, enjoyable to say the least. But I did get a lot of things done. As you can see, like I had new glasses. Hopefully you saw that in my previous videos. I had my hair done. I also met up with some of my favorite people. But the time just wasn't enough. But I did really enjoy like having this exercise of sticking stuff in. What I did was because I didn't have that much time while I was there. At the plane going back to Berlin, I actually wrote out everything. So I just stuck it in and then stuck, stuck everything in basically. So I did have glue with me. But otherwise, I just decided to... Um, document and finalize everything in transit. I also toyed with the idea of having a slam book. So when I go home again for the holidays, I definitely want to have a traveler's notebook insert dedicated to that time. I'm going to ask all my friends to write something. So when I met up with my friends Chingai, Macy, and Mimi, they all wrote here. And it was just so nice to have like, um, dedications from friends. And I also played around with some of the notes they sent me, like envelopes and... I feel like if I reorganize this um, insert, I would have like a rainbow colored uh, series of pages, which is really cool. The only thing I feel like could be improved on is honestly the printing quality because these were just like scrap sticker paper. I didn't really want to think too much about it. I just had whatever was on hand. And then for the last few pages, I decided to insert also the notes my friends gave me. So since it doesn't fit, I decided to use the Traveler's Notebook Pocket. So this comes with the yearly customizable sticker sheet, which is great because I put in all my notes and they're all tucked in here. So it feels like in some way it became my time capsule. So I really liked it to the point that I decided to also have my own um, series of passport journals. As much as I have my regular size ones, I think a passport would be really great. Actually, I used to paint a lot in the past, so I wanted to bring back that habit while at the same time journaling. So I was thinking like having the passport size would probably like um, compensate for that so I don't spend too much time doing the 
tea and journaling, aka like collage style journaling, and have more time to do the painted ones. I don't know if that makes sense, but that's kind of how I'm trying to um, do it in terms of compromise. So here's a quick tour of my travel journals in the past. So much tours, but basically this was how I used to journal before. And I wanted to bring it back. I just haven't had the time to do it. So by using a passport size for my um, ephemera, my photos, I hope that I'll be able to carve out more time to actually create spreads like these because honestly, these are super therapeutic. Obviously, they take so much time, but that's why I want to invest more time in doing it because they're just super fun to make. This has always been what I've always liked to do when I used to travel a lot and now I feel like I have to bring it back now that I'm going back to travel again. However, if you want to know more about travel journaling, make sure to check out my book, The Art of the Travel Journal. It's now out in bookstores worldwide and I talk about every single thing you need to start a travel journal, whether it's for illustration, for collage journal, for collecting ephemera. I share all my tips and advice in this book. So I do hope you get a copy. If you have, make sure to leave a comment or a review on Amazon. That would be lovely so that more people could discover and find this book and help them on their creative journey. Okay, now let's go to the actual part where I set up the traveler's notebook. So fun fact, I actually got a passport way earlier in my journaling journey. Before I got a regular, I was actually more keen on getting the passport because I thought it was like, well, first of all, it was cheaper. And second of all, it was just relatively um, cute and compact and I wanted to play around with the idea. So when you get a cover like this, usually there's an insert included, but I didn't really use the insert yet because it's too precious. So I have three inserts that I wanted to put in my cover. So the first one is actually Muji. It's not Traveler's Notebook. So FYI, Muji pocket notebooks do, fill, do fit the cover. So this is a blank one that I got from Muji. I don't know, like sometime earlier this year, but it just has like ideas, inspiration, and dumps. And just wanted to include that because I feel like it's going to be super uh, useful when I'm traveling. I just have random ideas that come by. My, my brain just decides to just like brainstorm on the fly. For my journaling and planning for the trip, I wanted to use these two inserts. And I swear by these for good reason. The first one is the MD Paper Cream in... Um, the passport size, so the regular size is actually number 25 and the passport size is 13. And then um, this one is fountain pen friendly, it has 64 pages, pretty much does the job. So I'm going on three trips this November, my last hurrah before the winter, so I think this is more than enough for the trip itself. And then the next one is uh, traveler's notebook grid which is the number two the grid is actually where I write a lot of notes so for example my itineraries like if I have to go to certain places I can write the opening times the closing times. but before I put everything inside I want to decorate each of them so I'm gonna turn you over to voice over Abby to explain my decorating process so I like to keep it simple when it comes to designing my insert covers whatever the cover is i actually just play around with that color cover color rather so for the grid one i just wanted to use elements that had shades of green and also i wanted to do like markers that symbolizes fall so i got some fall stickers for me these are like super subtle things that really make up the cover i also printed out a plans label from my daimo labeler and i decided to put that in so that i have a label obviously so much labels in one sentence but I try to keep it as simple as possible because I don't really like over decorating my covers also because this is something that I will look at all the time when I'm using my traveler's notebook passport and inserts for the documented this is actually the journal the main journal so it makes sense to have the documented there and also don't forget to design the back part because I think this is also something worth designing you know more areas to design actually a6 no this is passport passport sized 
covers are easier to design because stickers can be big so it's nice to just stack everything and it's easy to just work around so these are some of the covers that i finished and they're simple but they make a statement here's a closer look at the final designed designed inserts so this will be for the plans literally the plans i recently got a dymo labeler and i'm really obsessed with it so it was only like nine euros ten euros at modular i recently also got this sticker book from modular as well it's uh called historical maps and it's by pepin and it's something that's really right up my alley because look at all the global stuff at the back this is actually from a sticker sheet that i designed for the diarist vip um i still have i think a few boxes in the philippines so this is what it looks like and it has my uh, film photos and also fake um dymo labeler at the time didn't have a dymo yet so this actually a photo from berlin and then for the actual journal i wanted to keep it simple so i wanted to put documented and then i added some accents i figured that the globe sticker that i chose was just too big so i tore it in half and the, the other half i can still use for journaling and i super super like these tiny stamps they're from berlin fisher so I have a maple one and a suitcase one because I figured those are the two ones that I would use regularly. And then for my ideas, notebook, it's pretty much since I already stuck in this Beauty and the Traveler one, um, I just wanted to add in some basic elements and at the back just a little La Dolce Vita sticker. I think this super matches the red background. It has like a preppy school girly vibe. So we're gonna put everything in the Traveler's notebook cover so you can see how I set it up. I think I also want to put this one, but I don't know if too much inserts would be a problem. So we'll see. Maybe I'll remove the red one. So this one is actually a sticker release paper. If it's your first time seeing this, this has been a limited edition release by Traveler's Notebook last year, I think. If you need to travel, you need to take stickers with you. You don't have to bring sheets. You just stick stuff here. So for the sequence, I think I want to start with the plans first and then the sticker release and then the documented because you know if you're going to flip through the journals you're like okay i need stickers then i will stick it here i'm not gonna stick them on the plants anyway so first you want to put everything you know there are two strings here which means you just have to fasten it in so there is a band for the so it's just it's just a simple act of fastening them. So they're they're snug like this. I'm just gonna pull that in. This is such a job. Just wanna make sure that this is still intact. Okay, we are we are set. This one. Now I don't want this to go through the entire cover. So what I'm gonna do is I actually want this one in front. So I'm just gonna put it on the area where the first insert was. I think I got it together. Okay, cool. So I actually have a clip. So for example, if I need to mark like where I am in my um, insert, I can actually just clip it there. And I'm just gonna close it up like this. Actually, when I did the passport one, which I showed you earlier, I didn't have a cover which i felt bad about because now i feel like it's so flimsy but yeah i'm so excited to take this around i will of course report back and share with you how i find it for traveling and what purpose it is for i'm always really up for a challenge because i'm so used to using the regular format that i feel like the passport needs to be given more love so i'm going to try travel journaling which is this one and painting at the same time because those are like two different things for me so yeah let's see how that fares out if you want to check out more of my adventures and travels or i like to call them art ventures i share all my updates over on our art club at patreon thank you so much for watching this little journaling setup and i do hope you enjoyed i'll see you guys soon everything's going to be linked down below and always be creating bye